Welcome back to Daybreak. Getting people on the right track to having healthy hearts is what Cayman Heart Fund is striving for with their heart health fair. And starting with healthy habits at an early age is one way they plan to do it. Here in the studio with us this morning is Dr. Sukyen, who is the medical director. You've seen her around a lot recently, especially with Cayman Heart Fund. She is uh, the chair as well as the Smart is, is it Heart Smart Heart Week. Smart Week. That's it. Sorry. And Kim Rem Rem sorry Remizowski. I was saying it right beforehand. Now I just messed that up, but hopefully he'll forgive me. Rotary Sunrise Committee member and sponsor of the Teen Zone. Good morning. Good morning, morning Delisa. Thank you for having us. Thanks Thank for you. having me here. Uh, thanks for being with us here this morning. Um, well, first of all, tell us all about the, the actual fair. What's going to be taking place? Yes, we are kick-starting this weekend called the Heart Smart Week, which we actually partner with Westar and uh, for the last three years now. And this is ba basically bringing awareness that cardiovascular disease is the number one killer. Mm. and in the world and also in the Cayman Islands. So we're going to kick started with the um, cardiac symposium, which we're going to have on Thursday night. We, this is for medical practitioners. And on Friday, we have Red Dress Down Day. So we encourage everybody in the community to dress in red and make a donation to Cayman Heart Fund. Mm. And also at lunchtime, we're going to have the um, Learn and Lift Luncheon. And on Saturday itself, we're going to have the Heart Fair. All right. And speaking of which, you, the, the Red Dress Fair or the Red Dress, there is a pin that you guys have, which I'm actually wearing right mm -hmm. now. I'm not sure if you can actually see it, um, but it's going to be given away as well at the luncheon, is it? That's correct. And this is basically, the little red dress is the symbol, you know, that uh, cardiovascular disease is the number one killer in women. And it's making women more aware that, you know, we can have heart disease as well. So during the luncheon, you're going to hear from Dr. Michael Osner, who's our keynote speaker, and he's going to talk about a cardiac makeover for our heart, for mm -hmm. the women. So we encourage everybody to come out and uh, buy tickets because it's a prepaid event. And it's at the Ritz-Carlton uh, from 10.30 to 2 o'clock. We're going to have the expo and also the luncheon during that time. Now tell us a little bit more about the fitness experts that are going to be at the, at the health fair as well as some prevention um, uh, talks that people are going to be having. Right. Um, not to confuse the public because we have so many activities going. The Saturday is the big heart health fair mm -hmm. that's going to happen at Kamana Bay at the Arts and Recreation Centre. It starts at 8 o'clock. We're going to do screening for the public. And these will be risk factors we're looking for, Delisa. Risk factors are generally, you know, factors that we can actually look and be, and be aware of them before we actually develop heart disease. So we'll be screening for blood pressure. Uh, the Diabetes Association is going to be there to screen for diabetes as well. We're also going to screen for cholesterol level. And so we encourage people to fast about 10 hours before they come so that they can actually get the, their readings to be more accurate. And uh, also, during that time, not only just having screening, we've got lots of exhibitors booth with a dietitian there giving about heart healthy tips, what food you can bring on the table that will be heart healthy. Mm -hmm. And also the public lectures, we've got nine experts talking about different uh, topics. And then one of the big topics is also vitamin D deficiency and the link to cardiovascular disease. Okay. So those are very interesting topic. And another one that we're going to have is the, um, the dental, the link between dental care to heart right. disease, right? Yeah. Having he unhealthy gums can actually lead on to heart disease. And another topic is uh, from the pharmacist, like what are the medications that you can have interaction with if you, you know, take diabetes medication, or blood pressure medication, mm -hmm. how by taking an aspirin or, or a um, Advil, can mm -hmm. actually interact with some of these medications. Well, definitely so good a topics. lot. Yeah, definitely a lot of people in the community will be able to come out and learn a lot, various topics, various things. And one other thing that you guys are, are striving for is to have a lot more young people coming out to the fair. And Mr. Ramazowski, tell us more about that. Sure. Uh, Rotary Sunrise is partnering, obviously, with the Heart Fund, and uh, we're going to be looking after and assembling a number of activities for the, the children. Uh, Rotary's been involved with the youth uh, on the island in a number of ways, uh, junior achievement and literacy reading, etc. So uh, this is another fine avenue for us to get back to meeting with the young kids. Uh, what's going to happen that day is basically the, the kids will come in, they'll have a passport, they'll get that stamp, they'll do their activities, and once they do the activities, they'll get that stamp. But even before that, They'll actually have their uh, BMI uh, taken as well. They'll be true. Their, their, uh, their weight and their height as well be recorded. And then after they'll get into the, that will allow them to get them into the activities. Once they do the activities, then we'll be able to, they'll be eligible for a prize. And there's lots of prizes going on that day. So uh, anywhere from eight to 12 or eight to two, we really encourage uh, the parents to bring their children out. So why do you think it actually is important for parents to, to, to bring the children out or for children to actually be there and get more educated, I guess, on, on 
Well, no, it's basically trying to get the children active to show them there are different activities, you know, that you they can, they, the parents can actually get the children involved with. And some of them is like Zumba dancing, you know, wow. some yep. exciting Fun. CrossFit. Yeah, is yeah we have one. CrossFit Kids. We have uh, Miss Jackie's School of Dance, the Zumba, as uh, Ms. Dr. Suk has mentioned. Uh, we have Purple Dragon, the karate experts mm -hmm. doing demonstrations. So there'll be demonstrations going on, but there'll also be these game activity centers for them as well. So it's, it proved, it'll be proved to be a, a very exciting day for the kids. Sounds exciting. I'm a little yeah. bit jealous, you actually. You can come along, Delisa. <laughs> <laughs> I could, I could pretend to be the little kid and come along you know because I'm, I'm I'm that short too. Um, all right well community out there those viewers out there that are watching this morning be sure to head on down this weekend and once again give us the details it's, uh, at the Kamana Bay the Arts and Recreation Center is from 8 o'clock until 2 o'clock and uh, like I say come on out we need to screen you people and uh, make sure you don't have heart disease and at the same time enjoy you know all the exhibitors that's gonna be out there from Cleveland Clinic Baptist Health Johns Hopkins mm -hmm. you know our local Chrissy Tomlinson HSA the list goes on. The list mm -hmm. goes on. Go on out there to Kamana Bay this weekend. If you want to find more activity, want to con contact us, you know, we're at Cayman Heart Fund and uh, it's www.caymanheartfund.com and also we have an email address that you can com go on to which is uh, caymanheartfund at gmail.com. All right. Well, there are the websites, the email and the numbers. You can definitely log on to their website and get all the details on this event. Thank you very much for coming on the show this morning and giving us all the details on the health fair this weekend. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, everyone. Well, don't go away. Stay tuned. There's more Daybreak to come. Head of the Week is up next. Stay with us.